I am Dr. Anurag welcoming you all in my this channel. Today I am going to tell about the product classification which is to be studied in class 10th as well as class 11th. I have divided this chapter into two parts. The first one is classification and other is periodicity. In classification we will study about the various scientists who classified the elements according to certain basis. While in second part, periodicity will study the trends of the elements placed in the periodic table. What are the trends, whether they increase, decrease, say, whatever so we will see in the later videos. Right now, I am going to tell about the work of various scientists to classify the elements. The elements classified. The first one is Antony. Laurent Lavoisier, who is also known as father of chemistry. In 18th century, this Antony Laurent Lavoisier classified the elements into metals and non-metals. The basis of classification, basis of his classification was some physical properties like hardness, malleability, etc. Demerits. What are the demands of this Lavoisier's classification? The first one is he selected only a few physical properties through which the elements were classified into metal and non-metals that was not sufficient. The second one is there was no place for metal wide, the elements which possesses both characteristics of metal and non-metal, and that's why this classification was not sufficient to classify all the elements present at that time or in the future time. So next John Dalton in 1803 classified the elements. He took the basis of his classification as atomic weight which is later on called atomic mass. So atomic mass was taken later on the classification of elements. This classification was not sufficient and that's why this classification was rejected. Now the third scientist who classified the elements was John Wolfgang Dovernier. He was a German scientist. He classified elements on the basis of atomic mass. He formulated a law known as law of trad. Trad means trad means a set of three elements and this law states that the mass of middle element can be predicted if we will have the knowledge of mass of first and third element. According to this law, the mass of middle element of a triad can be easily predicted by the arithmetical mean of massage of first and third element. So it was this law, but this law was not sufficient to classify all the elements present at that time 
and future also and that's why this classification is also discarded let's see what was the demerit demerit first no all elements form triad second it was also not good not good for for higher elements that's why this classification was discarded now i'm coming to the next classification next scientist to classify the elements and it was john alexander ran newland he was an english scientist he classified elements on the basis of atomic mass he formulated a law known as law of octaves according to him uh, he used his classification which was very similar to that of musical notes his classification was very similar to that of musical notes let's see according to this law according to this law every eighth element shows the properties of the first element like the musical notes his arrangement was 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 8 according to the indian music sa re ga ma pa dha ni sa so eighth musical note is very similar to that of the first musical note in indian system while in western system it's do re mi fa so la ti do here also the eighth musical note is very similar to that of its first musical note when he classified the elements like hydrogen lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine sodium magnesium aluminum silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine potassium calcium chromium titanium manganese iron cobalt nickel copper zinc so on according to this classification every eighth element is the similar with its first element like sodium is similar so similar properties with the lithium magnesium so similar property with the calcium or calcium so similar property with the magnesium nitrogen so similar property with the phosphorus so on so it was his classification now let's talk about its demerit the first demerit it was good only up to the calcium after calcium no element shows this type of similarity it's good for lighter elements up to the calcium so here this similarity shows up to the calcium afterward it is known so such similarities so it's good only up to calcium second he clubbed two elements two metals cobalt and nickel together 
it was his demerit when he classified the elements and in every group in every place there is only one element then why these two elements are grouped together he was he could not say any explanation regarding this now these two metals are placed with the non metallic groups and could not explain this that's why it became the demerit of this new light he classified only 56 elements there was no gap for the elements which is to be discovered which which is to be discovered in future now i am coming to the next classification that is julius lothamia his basis was also on the atomic mass and atomic volume rather he plotted a graph between the atomic mass and atomic volume and shows the similarities with the elements according to him at x axis he plotted atomic mass of the elements and on the y axis he plotted atomic volume when he plotted the graph the graph shows some dislike structure and most electropositive elements that is the alkali metals occupy at the tip of the graph that is lithium sodium potassium rubidium and cesium while well, the less electropositive elements alkal alkaline earth metal like beryllium magnesium calcium estroncium barium at the descending limb of the graph while halogens they occupy at the ascending limbs of the graph that is fluorine chlorine bromine iodine etc this classification is good for lighter elements it's also not good for higher elements or heavier elements and that's why this classification was also discarded now in next video i'll tell you about the classification of mendeleev and mosley and then in third video i'll discuss about the periodicity of the various elements okay thank you if you are newer to the youtube i'll request you to please like subscribe share and also to push the bell icon so that you may get latest notification